Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another house update. So if you've been following along, you know that last year I bought my first house. It is the Lula May by Buccaneer. It is a manufactured home. So there are certain things here that are standard. There are certain things that I've upgraded or changed. I have videos on all of that back in my Lula May playlist. But when you purchase a manufactured home, there are a few things that are kind of standard, such as they bring the house to your land, they set it up, you'll do a walk through, um, seeing if anything needs fixed. Now, as the house settles, more things shift and change. And so they're going to set up a two month to three month walk through where they come back and they fix anything that needs fixed. So at two months, I made a video for y'all things to fix in my Lola May, very clever title. And I walked you through all of those things. I have the list right here. And ever since then, y'all have been asking for an update on that video. Sugar and Lady really want to give up to you. But I haven't been able to film it for you because they actually didn't come right away. There was a lot of things that happened and they didn't actually come to do that two month walk through and fix until almost six or seven months, which was, it was what it was. Like it was nobody's fault. Things just were a little crazy in the world, but it was frustrating, but they did come. The guys who came were great. They fixed everything beautifully. And at that point I should have done the update for you fresh after they were here, but life happens and I didn't have a chance. So now it's been a year and a half since I purchased my home. So about six months since they did those fixes. So I'm going to walk you through the house. We are going to go over every single thing that was on my original fix list and how they fixed it. If they fixed it, if I was happy with how they fixed it, I am, they did a great job. And since it's been another six months, have those fixes held up? Are there new fixes? There are. And what am I going to do about them? I'm going to make these dogs into handymen at some point. And they'll do all the fixes. But since we're in the kitchen, let's start in the kitchen. So in the kitchen, we had a few fixes, starting with the upper cabinets pulling away from the wall. They weren't actually pulling away from the wall, but up here at the top, you could see that slight crack between the ceiling and the cabinets, it needed to be recalked. And they did that, I will give you a close up. And this side still looks pretty good. Now this side, not so good. They fixed it when they left, it looked great, but that crack has reappeared over the last couple months. And it's a little strange because this is the cabinet that holds all of my china all my plates, like this is the heavy stuff. This, these are my cups. Heavy, but not as heavy as plates. But they double check that at the very least, they are structurally sound, so they are attached into studs properly. They are not going to fall, but that part there, that needs to be fixed. So there was fix one. Alright, fix two was that trim between the molding and the butler's pantry was separated right here. They cocked that, it was perfect. There's a drawer right here. Girls, can you stop? Let me actually take y'all off the tripod so I can show you up close these things. All right, so starting with the up uppers, you can see we're good on this side, but if we come down here, dun -dun -dun -dun, cracks, crack, 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 snap, crackle, pop. Also, I love this wreath, just in case y'all needed to know. Here by my tray is where they fixed that seam. And then 
dog kennel. If you remember in the original video, I'll put the image right here, but this entire drawer, the supports were snapped off in the back. So instead of gliding in and out, it was at an angle. Now, like this one. Dun -dun. Unfortunately, the guys who came out to do these fixes told me that they are plastic drawer slides. And because of that, it is a known problem that these slides break and that your perfectly level sliding drawer will plummet. So what they did was they did actually leave me a supply. They might be in the drawer. They are, they're in the broken drawer. They left me a supply of the drawer slides for the back. So these need to be screwed into the back and this is what breaks and that drawer slide goes right in here. So I can fix these while they're breaking. I have, they left me quite a few of them. Unfortunately, that's frustrating. I shouldn't have to do this. Um, and orig originally, eventually, I would like to just replace these drawer slides with metal ones that won't break. If I was repurchasing this home, I probably would have upgraded two metal drawer slides had I known it would be this much of an issue. If you're purchasing this home, metal baby, metal. All right, next on the list is the glue under the kitchen island. So right down here, there's all these weird beads of little like wood that just needed to be sanded off. So they did that. There was a crack and the coffer ceiling right over here that they cocked. Looks perfect. The stuffing, the insulation, y'all all laughed at me. Apparently nobody else calls it stuffing. My parents, my, I've always heard it called stuffing. And um, there was stuffing coming out of a can light that I could have just reached up and grabbed, but why do it yourself when they can do it for you? So they did fix that, which was great. And then the trim and the whole house needed fixed. So they re everything in between and to the wall. Last but not least, there was a crooked drawer on the side of the island. I'm gonna show you this. So this was the drawer that was crooked and it just moves. Like I literally showed it to him and he was just like, oh, there, straight. So there you go. You need to fix these. They just slide. And look, no glue. Sand like smooth like a baby's bottom, huh? Oh. This was the crack they needed fixed. You can see where they cocked all the trim here, especially around this, since it has like a special end cap, it was really bad. And no stuffing, stuffing free. All right, let's go ahead and head into the laundry room. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so the laundry room had a shorter list than the kitchen. It's a smaller room. If you haven't checked this out, this was not an update on the fixed list. I'm just very proud of it. Mom and I designed I designed it. Mom and I built it, and it's the best thing in the house. Forgot I put a camera there. Now I'm watching you. Okay, laundry room fix list. So there was a crack on the wall by the back door. They fixed it, but it is back. It's one of the few cracks that did come back. So I'm gonna have to refix that. The pegs on the door to cover the screw holes, I was just missing like six of them. They brought me six more. The back door threshold, every single time it rained, it was like a flood in here. I would just come into a pool of water. Unfortunately, that not only was hurting the floor, but it was really hurting the molding. Um, so they did fix the threshold, they raised it, 
so that it is less of a problem. The dogs are just all looking at me like, what are you doing? And there was some weird blue drip marks on this wall that they painted over. There were also the same blue drip marks in the laundry room on the cabinet. So they had to replace the cabinet doors in there because no matter how you clean them, like even a Mr. Clean magic eraser would not fix this problem. That's how serious it was. And the trim all need caulk. So as far as this room goes, everything's held up really, really well. Um, once they fix it, except that one crack on the door and you'll notice, I'm going to turn you around and show you that in a second. There appears to be a plastic film on the door. It is a lot of things in this house had a protective film on them that I didn't realize until it started to come off. And recently we had like a really humid tornado warning kind of day and <laughs> all these little like, well, you'll see weird wrinkles appeared on my door and I freaked out until I realized there's a plastic film on the whole back door. I need to take it off. Okay, so here is the crack. It is the same one that was here before. Just needs a little spackle. Here's all the wrinkles. And you can see they replaced all those little white pigs. Betty, you going outside? No? You gonna stay in here with us? Good call. This is where they repainted. I have cleaned this wall 8 million times, but I guess the dogs use it to like fling mud at. I don't know. It's very weird. And no blue drips here. Looks way better. So you can also see that they have clocked all of the trim, which is nice. All right, let's go out to the dining room. Everything else in here is going to be a whole other project. I want to build some really nice shelves over. So this looks like a whole built-in. And my pretty washer and dryer doing laundry look pretty. But this is at least clean and organized, which, let's face it, sometimes clean and organized is good enough. needs the trim clocked. They did a great job with that. This one beam though must not be super stable because it is like probably the worst in the whole house and I know they clocked it and it needs needs a whole more whole other two of caulk. So I'm just gonna have to get up there and do a couple little bits of touch up myself. Things settle sometimes you just gotta re reapply. Um, they also lowered the chandelier for me if you remember that original video. It was like really high, like only two lengths from the ceiling. So this is a much better length. Um, the light switch by the door, this, this one right here, did nothing. Couldn't figure it out. I had a feeling that it went to this one light on my porch. So I have four lights on my porch and they are all controlled over by the front door with one light switch, except for this one that goes to this light switch. So instead of having all the lights on the front porch on, I can just leave one on or I can leave them all on, which is nice. So they reconnect to that. And now I leave this one on all the time. It's a little strange, but if I leave all the lights on, even with my blinds and curtains closed, they light up my bedroom all the way at the other end of the hall. So I tend to just leave this one light on and not the other three. Go figure. Um, let's see. Then there was a crack above this window and right here going up to the beam. They fixed those and they still look great. So all in all, dining room needs a little bit of trim work that I can do. Everything else that they fixed held up beautifully. That's what I like to hear. To the living room. Living room. Okay, there weren't as many things 
in here as I would think. Most of the switches and changes they needed to do had to do with these beams. So this beam and that beam are an optional upgrade. You do not have to have them, but this right here is where the house is cut in half that they have to fix everything. I think that's why that one seam on the post is so messed up that it just keeps needing more clock is because it's right on that seam. It must be a stress point. So I'm very glad I got the optional beams because they cover all of that the rest of the length of the house. This beam literally goes from the dining room to the living room, back to the bedroom, and makes it just look like an architectural feature and not a giant seam running down the, the length of my house. They also have one on the floor that is just flat. Just looks like more of the flooring. It's great. I have read or seen videos from other Lulamay owners that say that it starts to come up over time. I haven't had that issue, but I have tried here and in the bedroom and in the dining room to cut rugs over it wherever I can. I think that helps. It also helps hide the seam a little bit. But back to the list. So there was paint on the beam in a few places because once they put the beam up, then they had to paint and texture the ceiling next to it because it had to be mudded in. So they cleaned the paint off the beam. <laughs> Again, I could have done that. There was a large gap between the wall and the beam. And so what they said is like right here, I don't know if you can see, I'll give you a close up. They have these little tiny slivers of beam material, faux wood, that they covered the seams of the beam with. They said they just forgot to do that the first time. I don't know that I like them. I do like it next to the wall where it covers that large gap, but I think it's actually less obtrusive without them for the rest of the beams. So I actually had them leave those caps off in the bedroom, and I will show you the difference between with the cap and without the cap, and you can decide what you like. But there you go. Either way, the other two main problems were the ceiling right by this galvanized part, and the ceiling right in here were butted, but not painted or textured, so they touched both of those up, and everything needed cocked. Now, the only other problems in here that have changed since the fixer people came is there is a crack in this side of the beam as well as the one on the other side in the dining room that was not there before. That's just got to be a stress point. I hate the beam to begin with. If you could get away with not having it, that'd be great, but apparently you can't. Whatever, it's the lesser of all the evils. Also, while the front door was hanging funny from the very beginning, they did level it. It hasn't ever given me any other issues, but I've noticed that the front doorknob, specifically this one, not the other one, it sticks a little bit sometimes. Like, it just feels funny and it feels like it's going to break eventually. I don't really like the front doorknobs and I'm going to replace them, but you know, Paid for them. I've got lots of other things I want to pay for before I pay for that. So we're going to use it until we lose it. Also, my pretty spring bolts were gorgeous last week, but now they are gone. On to the hallway. Okay, so here you can see that little bit right there where they put that extra piece over the gap between the wall and the beam. And there, I do like how it looks. But down here where it's just in the middle of the beam, I am not so sure. It doesn't look bad, but I will show you the bedroom where it isn't and we'll see what you think. But as we go towards the bedroom, we have the hallway and it's getting late, so we have to turn some lights on. And here, the only problems were the cracks over the doors. And you can see where they fixed those. They have held up beautifully. No problems in the hallway. 
which is good. Let's go to the bedroom real quick and I will show you the beam while we're thinking about it. Whoop. Okay, so here's the seam. And I just think it looks better without it. But you make your own decision. Okay, back on the tripod for y'all. Okay, so this is the first bedroom. Across the hall is the second bedroom. This one is a little larger than that one. It only had a few problems, a crack over the door, and the other one has similar problem. They fixed them, no more problems. The dogs love it in here, so I just have a bunch of dog bags because they like to sit with me. <laughs> of course, the, um, the hall bath, Oh, I'm looking at the wrong list. Okay, the hall bath had a few more problems. So there was a staple in the trim by the tub. The trim by the tub has large gaps in the corners and all of the trim needed cocks. So I'm gonna show you those two rooms real quick and we'll go back to the master. Stay on the right list. Here's the guest room. It is still a work in progress, but it's the first time in a year you've been able to walk in here. So I'll take it. And right there where that sticky note is, is where the, the gap is. They weren't able to walk in here, so they weren't able to fix it. So I do still need to fix that one. But for the most part, you know, they did what I asked. Whew. Yeah. Guest bath. You can see I do still need to fix this chair and chandelier, but as far as this goes, they fixed that gap. They fixed the staple and all of the trim. So it all looks good. Let's go to the master. All right, so I'm sorry that the light is on here. It makes the whole room yellow, but it's six o'clock. So we're running out of daylight and I put this video off long enough. So in here, the barn doors, they have leveled and straightened them 8 million times. We finally do have them at a point where they no longer roll shut. So they are level. I never close them. If you do close them, it's a little hard to keep them centered. So they're still not perfect. That doesn't bother me. I'll just close the main door. If that is an issue for you, you may opt out of the barn doors because I just don't think with the way these manufactured houses are built, even on a permanent foundation, they're ever gonna be truly level for rolling doors. That is sad, but the people who have come to fix them three, four times, they said they have this problem in a lot of the Lula Maze. Girls, you could go play in any of the other rooms. You don't have to stay by my feet. I like the barn doors though. I think they're beautiful and that's good enough for me. All right, so all of the trim was redone. They did have to paint and texture the, car, um, the mud next to the beams the same way they did in the living room. There was no hot water in the tub. It was only lukewarm, and that was a safety feature. I asked them, say, hey, you can take that valve off so that it can get hot. I knew it could get hot. The sinks get hot, the shower gets hot. The guy told me it's a safety feature. He can't take it off, but I can take it off. Let's just say I now have hot water. You can too if that's an issue. Just figure it out. I don't know how to tell you because I didn't do it. Okay, in the bathroom, the half wall between the pate and the rest of the room needed cut to the wall. They fixed that and cut to the edge of the trim. They fixed that. 
the paint drips down the wall on the back of that half wall we're also fixed. And the grout in the shower is gray and it was being washed out really bad. They regrouted the entire shower, not having nearly the problems with it now. I don't think it had cured properly the first time. So there you go. Let's head back to the front and I will give you a few updates on the front porch. Maybe the dogs will stay. All right, if we come in the bathroom, there's my tub with the hot water. This is the half wall you can see where they cocked it on either side. This side really could use a little more, but it's fine. They did over behind this piece of trim as well and this piece of trim as well. And as far as the shower goes, not seeing any more loose pieces of gray grout everywhere. But I will give you an example right here of how the molding is coming apart. That's only happening two or three places in the house, but anywhere there's a lot of moisture, the baseboards are just like, bleh. So if I have to say the one thing I really dislike about this house, the baseboards are just not there. Yeah. Tell me about it, Shug. To the porch. All right, so we are out on the front porch. There's only a few things out here. The light around the side, so you can see here's one light, two, three, four lights, the one over the second front door now works. It was not working before. This front door was sticking really bad. Doesn't stick anymore. And they were missing the outlet on the front porch, which since I do all of my resin projects, who was asking what that was, right here at this table you don't know what resin is go check out my resin playlist so we've got a lot of resin projects this outlet is necessary for me to plug in my heat gun and my other resin tools um, the only other things there were was some trash in the side yard when they delivered my house and set it up the workers from the dealership left so much trash in the side yard and i've asked them to come clean it up they said multiple times they would, and they said when they came out to do fixes, that those guys would fix it. Those guys were from the actual manufacturer, not from the dealer. So they said that was not their responsibility. The dealer I purchased my home from should have picked that up. They are not concerned about it. So I either have to deal with it myself or just leave trash in my side yard forever. So I did fix that, but I was not happy about it. And then there was some skirting missing and they replaced that. So all in all, loving it. At the end of the day, there are a few fixes left for the year and a half I've been here that I do need to address, but it's held up really well. I'm going to be doing another video on how all of the finishes, like the counters and the stoves, my appliances, my floors, and the walls, how everything's held up for over a year and a half. If you want to check that video out, I will link it down below. But as you can see, they fixed everything on my list. It's a very detailed list. And I would say 90% of their fixes have held up beautifully. Mainly the trim hasn't held up with every single swap. I don't think that's their fault though. I think that's just the house settling and continuing to settle. It should settle a lot less in the second and third year than the first year. So. Hopefully, if I recock it, we will be on the up and up. Also, I just got these flamingos in Costa Maya on a cruise and I loved them. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, share it, show your mom, tell your friends. I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.